Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, a nice simple one to do, this is how to make your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC automatically log on when you turn it on for the first time. Now this is going to be really useful for some people because they just hate putting in passwords and maybe you don't have Windows Hello or PIN numbers, etc. Don't worry, if you have got a Microsoft account or you do have your own dedicated account on the PC, it will remember your password, you do need to enter it again, so it, you will need to know your login details to do this, but it's relatively straightforward, and of course it can be relatively easily restored back to the original settings. I would strongly suggest, obviously we're making changes in the registry, so do all your backups and all that kind of stuff, but if you do want to change the setting back, it's really easy. Just change the registry key from zero to two, or two to zero, and then go into the control panel to change your setting for log on, and that is basically it. But don't worry, I'll show you exactly how it's done and how to undo it in the video right now. Okay, so we're on our Windows 11 desktop, so first thing we wanna do is to head over into RegEdit to get to that. Just click on the start flag and type in reg, or start typing it, and it should come up. So there we go, there is our registry editor. Click on that. User account control will come up. You won't be able to see this because I'm using OBS, but click on yes and then we'll have our registry editor here. So what we want to do is to go to a specific key. So we need to go to computer, H key local machine, expand that one, and then go down to software. And then from software, scroll all the way down to Microsoft. And from Microsoft, we want to go down and find Windows NT, which will be down here somewhere. Just keep on going, there's a lot to troll through. Where are we? Windows NT, there we go, and current version. Not much else of choice there. And then what we wanna look for is passwordless. So scroll on down until we find passwordless, which is this one here, and then choose device, which is the last one of the string. So now on the other side, we've got this key here, which is already installed, which is device passwordless build version. So currently it's got a registry D word value of two. That is the default. So if you want to actually change it, double click to change the entry and change the value to a zero and then click OK and that is effectively it for the registry now obviously if you want to undo the settings after you've changed it then you can go back in and you can just change that back to two the choice is entirely up to you but that's how to restore it from that so it's value of either zero or value of two so you can toggle that in between so once you're happy close down the registry editor the next one is we need to run a small program. So we'll type in run, or start typing it, and use the run app. This will bring up something at the bottom, and in this section, what we want to do is we'll type in net PL whiz, and then click on OK, and this is for user accounts. Now the key one here is this section here, users must enter a username and password to use this computer. If we didn't make the registry change, this section will not be available. So that is why we've done that. So in order to change the setting, click on here, and then click on apply, at which point it will ask you for the username and password for the machine, which you need to enter. Now, if you've got a Microsoft account and your username is similar to mine here and it's got your email address or whatever, don't worry, it knows exactly what it's doing, so just go along with that, leave the username as it is there. Go ahead, type in your password. When you're done, click on OK and then click OK, and that is essentially it. Now the next time you reboot your computer, it will come up and it will automatically log you in and return you to your Windows desktop. Pretty cool. So there we go, pretty straightforward thing to do. As always, all of this will be listed in the video description, so you can go down there and click on any things you need to, or to jog your memory if I'm speaking too fast, or whatever the case may be. Like I said, if you do want to undo the settings, just change that registry value from two back to zero, or zero to two, whichever you want to do, and then just go into the NetPL wizard, or wiz, and then click on that checkbox there to make sure that Windows users have to use a password to log in. There you go. So hopefully this video's been useful to you. If it has, smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, hit the subscribe button and the chime notification, and then you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.